it's Nia. Welcome to Life with Nia. It is time for Friday Night Lights. I have quite a few hauls because you know we had a good old time for Black Friday. So I'm going to jump right into it because this video is going to be a little bit longer. Um, starting with clean a skin towel. So I had shared that I um, a lot of the things that I bought for Black Friday were things that I would normally buy anyway, but um, they were on sale and so I sort of stocked up. So for clean skin towels, I did a um, haul on them a while ago. It may have been like Black Friday last year. And I was like, I really don't know that I get it or love them, but I wanted those bamboo boxes, <laughs> which I do really like. Um, but I have found that I use them daily. So um, I do really like them. And um, I think I have like less than a package left. So I got two more of the bamboo boxes if I can get a little further away. Um, and the ones that I have have the pull-out drawer. So they come with a package of the towels. Um, and so these are just like disposable towels, but they're biodegradable, um, cruelty-free vegan. Um, and what I have found like with my skin issues, they it definitely helps. It's like I'm not using the same towel for a few days or a week or whatever. Um it's a nice clean one every time and I, my skin responds to that. So I got two more of these bamboo boxes. Each one comes with um, towels inside of it. And I, I was thinking of maybe using the boxes. I hate that the box says clean skin towels. I really didn't care for the ones in the bathroom that have the towels on there. But I'm thinking about using it for stationery. And so it's it lightweight bothers me. Not, not so much that um, it's a big, it's a super big deal, but um, think about using it for some stationary items, like maybe my sticky notes or pins or something like that. So I got two of those. I have three refills, which is this, and there's 50 in there. Um, and I find that I use one, maybe two a day. I also got the Clean Skin Club Clean Wipes, which these are wet, um, hypoallergenic, fragrance-free, cruelty-free, vegan, and pH balanced. And so, um, I don't know. They were on sale, so I thought I would give them a try. And then I got this, which is the same towels, but in a 10-pack. For travel. Um, so I wanted to have them so that I did what I would have done was to take in like a sandwich bag and put some towels in there to travel with, which you can absolutely do, but I would prefer to have the little package um, for traveling. So I got that. So that is what I got from Clean Skin Towels. I feel like I got a great deal because it was all on sale for Black Friday. That order. My goodness. Um, okay, next, I ordered some things from 31. Um, I don't really get into it a whole lot. I've been a 31 consultant over 10 years, um, and most of what I do now is just my own personal use. I do still have my website up and running, it'll be posted below. Um, but I felt like it's fall, it's time for a new wallet, time for a new bag. Because I will use the same bag until the wheels fall off. So I've been using the same one for probably about eight months or so now. Um, so I like this little, it's called a Slim Wallet. It's a little bit smaller in size. And the color is Cappuccino Smooth Pebble. Which is a brown, which I think is nice for fall and winter. It's got a little pocket here on the back. Now, I don't know if I'm going to change out my wallet. Because I really like what I'm using now with my cash envelopes but um maybe so I got this and then I got um a wristlet strap one of the things I do like about this type of wallet is like when I go into the office sometimes we will walk to get something to eat or to Starbucks or whatever so it's nice to take the wallet have the wristlet strap and just you know be on the go 
um, without carrying a big old bag. Um, a lot of times, like, my pants don't have pockets, so I don't have anywhere to put money or a card or anything. So I like this option for that. And then I also got this um, handbag, which is called the Crossbody Bucket Bag. Same color, the cappuccino. And um, this is like, it's got a, a thing where you kind of can cinch it together to close. And I don't know that I'll be able to really get a good picture, but here we go. So inside, there's no pockets on the outside. Inside we've got, um, you have the option to, got like this shoulder strap here and then there's pockets flat pockets there and a zipper pocket here really deep big zipper pocket and then it comes with another strap so like if you want to wear a crossbody um, you have the option to do that as well I just thought the color and the style was cute so um, and I would rather buy a bag from myself um, and instead of like going to the store. So got that from 31. All right, next. Um, one other item I got from 31. This is the uh, tapered pouch. I got this actually as a freebie and I'm waiting for my strap to come. It was supposed to come with a strap but I have another order. I got these huge storage bags um, that I probably won't show. I mean, they're huge, huge, huge. Like Christmas tree, tree size storage, huge. So um, it would be difficult to show that on camera. But this was sent as a freebie and one of the bags is still, it's both, it'll be here tomorrow. We'll probably have the strap inside of it, but I thought this was cute. I, I, this is like, reminds me of like the cloth and paper has the whole silver thing going on. So it just seems like it is very trendy on trend right now. It's the same strap that you saw with the wallet, just in the sil same silver color. And so you would link that on right here. And you could also use this as a, you know, maybe you're going out. Um, and you want something a little bit dressier with the silver tone or even, you know, every day, whatever. Um, you could also put it inside of another bag if you carry a big bag like me to organize things. So I like that. Um, not sure if I'm going to use that or not. The silver's a bit much for me, but, um, I got that as well. So that is all my 31 stuff. Um, okay, so next, I got an order from Hand Can Plan. So it's been a year since I placed an order with Hand Can Plan. Um, this is Hannah, who is, she's located in Las Vegas, so you get things a little bit quicker. And there is the shop name, Hand Can Plan. And this was a Black Friday, maybe, order? And then pre Black Friday. Let's see, November. Of course, I don't have a November calendar anymore. November. This was like two days, three days before Black Friday. I placed this order the 21st. So, um, let's show you what I got. I think I got a mostly Hobonichi kits. So this, I believe, was a, this is a freebie. It's like winter landscape, winter bucket list. Um, this was a freebie. Now see, I'm not, I'm not into that whole aesthetic. I, I don't even know what to call it, but the whole floral farmhouse-y look is not my thing. This was a freebie as well. Okay, so here's what I got. I got a Hobonichi cousin kit. This is H068A, and it's like a kind of animal print, but green and black and mauve and pink. Um, and I don't know if I got a second page with that or not. 
I think I may, I think she's got like an A and B and I may have just ordered the first page. Then I got, this is an A5 Daily Duo kit. Um, it's like black and pink. And then there's two boxes here and your numbers. Two boxes here. So I think I, I, no, I did end up with, I think I got the full kit. So this is 069. Yeah, bundle. So six boxes. Then we got some like appointment labels and some scripts. You've got little meal stickers. And then the headers. And then I also picked up... Here's the checklist. Some more scripts and some icons. And then this box is just decorative, which is cute. Um, I also picked up a journaling kit for this. But I only... This is another two-pager. So I only did this one page. Um, which has your days of the week. It has some strips. Um, and then numbers. I was thinking of maybe using this in the Hobonichi Daily. I'm like looking for different things to do in this little Hobonichi Daily. So um, I feel like journaling kits are a good way to sort of do a freestyle in here. Because it's just grid. So I got that. Testing out all the things. I also buy things for research and development for Studio Blisco. In case you didn't know, now you know. Um, then I got this Hobo Cousin kit which is 05, H059. Um, I only did the first page again. Then she had some scripts, which, uh, you know, I love scripts. So this is called Encouraging Words. And I got two sheets on that one. Love that. Then I got this Hobo Cousin kit. Now on this one, I got both sheets. So we've got the main sheet with the days of the week and the washi. And then um, the second sheet has these boxes and some scripts and um, some other little decorative elements and things. And then I also, because I just thought this kit was so cute with the sweaters and whatnot, I also got the journaling sheet with that same um, art. And this is the main page. And then I also got page two. So this is what page two of the journaling sheet looks like. And then you've got these like long washi strips and some um, thought bubbles and boxes and um, headers. Then um, she actually has three pages on her journaling sheet. So this was the one journaling kit that I got all three pages. I love these little circle numbers. They're super cute. So I that is on that third page. And then some more decorative things and boxes. So I got that. Then, um, same A5 Daily Duo kit I got in the Hobo Cousin, just the first page on it this time. And then I got this little journaling kit, just the main page. So that is everything from Hand Can Plan. And you can find her at handcanplan.etsy.com if you are interested. And again, here is your shop name, Hand Can Plan. So that is um, my Hand Can Plan order. And here is the shop website if you want to take that down. So that is that order getting all my stickers together for 2024 and of course I'll be designing 2024 stickers for Studio Bliss Co. as well but I always have like to have a little something extra to um supplement with. PD says hi. Okay next up got an order from Herb and Eden and listen let me tell y'all something I might have pilfered this order <laughs> Might have, I might have jumped in here. And let me tell you what happened. I, my favorite essential oil is frankincense. And so they have limited time frankincense soap. Um, frankincense and myrrh, actually. And so when it came, it smelled so amazing. Unopened. Just you could smell it through the box. And I was like, gotta try it. So... 
Um, it came last Saturday and I was like, I cannot wait until next Friday that I probably have to wait until Saturday to take a shower to try this out. Um, so I might've cut part of the soap off to give it a whirl and I still think it smells so good. So I, I, <laughs> I cut off a piece. I used it. I was like, Ooh, I really like it. And I had washed my hands with it to just wash my hands. And it was like, they felt so moisturized. My hands always feel dry. And, um, I was like, oh, I should probably order some more. By the time I sat down to order some more, it was sold out. Um, but I did see today that it's back. So now I'm trying to figure out, do I really need more? Because my supply of soap is probably a little out of control. Um, but this is a limited time scent. So once it's gone, it's gone. And I feel some kind of way about that. So, um... Here's the ingredients. Like, I love Urban Even because my skin is so sensitive. And this is just one of the few things that I found that did not irritate it at all. Um, and I love to create, like, a spa experience. So, I love a really good soap and really good body care products. So, coconut oil, palm oil, shea butter, sodium hydroxide, which is necessary to make soap. You don't have soap without sodium hydroxide. Uh, distilled water, frankincense. Essential, um, essential oil, myrrh, essential oil, and matter root powder. Like, it is all natural ingredients. So, um, if you have sensitive skin, I recommend checking out Urban Eden. They have many, many different soaps to choose from. I just happen to love the smell of frankincense and myrrh. I really love the smell of frankincense. So, anytime I can get that, I love to give it a try because I know I'll be happy with the scent. I gotta decide if I'm gonna get some more. I bought a duo. So the duo included the soap. Um, and then it also included a whipped body butter. Now I did not break into the whipped body butter. And then I bought an extra bar of soap. So here's the whipped body butter. And It's kind of thick. My hands are still dry. It's not it's not greasy at all. I'm ashy over here, y'all. Don't be talking about my hands in the video. Um it's got a really light scent to it. It's not strong, but it's still that same frankincense and myrrh scent. And I just like gave myself a little moisture. So, um, that's the whipped body butter and it's shea butter, coconut oil, cocoa butter, sunflower oil, frankincense, myrrh, and matter root powder. Very minimal ingredients. So got that. I also got the, um, tea tree and turmeric soap, which I've been using on my face. So I love it for that. I figured as long as I was on there and stuff was on sale for Black Friday, we could just go ahead and get things we love. Now, I really love Arbonne's lip balm, but the shipping is cost prohibitive if that's the only thing I'm getting ready to get from them. So I thought I would try out Urban Eden's lip balm, which also has very few ingredients. Sunflower oil, beeswax, cocoa butter, jojoba oil, and vanilla oil. And I love it. Uh, so I pulled one of these out of here as well. Love, 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 love this lip balm. So I got that. And then um, this, I feel like, is more for on the go. These are all products I already have. Um, but I'm always I'm starting to transition to thinking about travel. I, I lied. This is not all things I have. I do have the face wash, the tea tree and turmeric face wash. So this is a nice little bottle to take on the go. Um, I don't really use it on my face too much. I do like to use it on my back or anywhere I have scars. And then I also, um, this little thing included a toner and a, like, face oil serum. So you have your toner in tea tree and yarrow. And you have your face serum in tea tree and lavender. Now, I typically cannot use tea tree. I don't love the way that that smells. I don't like the way tea tree smells most of the time. Um, but th they are a company where their tea tree is probably truly tea tree and not mixed 
up with a whole bunch of weird crap. And so I can use it in there. Not There is no issue. Um, this is yarrow infused witch hazel, aloe vera, apple cider vinegar. That was what I smelled that I was like, what just happened? Um, vegetable glycerin and tea tree lemon and lavender essential oils. And then the serum is jojoba oil, evening primrose oil, castor oil, neem oil, sunflower oil, vitamin E oil, tea tree, lavender, and basil essential oils. Let's smell this one. That smells good. Okay, so I might actually use use these. So um, I purchased them for the purpose of I'm trying to go somewhere. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm trying to go somewhere. So I'm trying to get all my little travel stuff together, but I probably will use these. I like trying new things. And so I do have hyperpigmentation. So I thought the little mini facial kit was a good deal. Um, I may need to get another one of those. Along with the uh, frankincense soap. We shall see. So that is what I picked up over at Herb and Eden. Um, and I will be sure to put the names and websites of all these sites down below. Next up. Um, we have an order from... Artisair. Artisair is a Canadian company um, and they have wax seal related items. I made the mistake of, well, shop there for Black Friday. I had, um, and this may have been a pre Black Friday sale as well. I had, I, you know, I did the seals for Black Friday orders. And my glue gun stopped working. Um, I did go pick up another one at Joanne's. But since the artist there was having a sale, I ordered one from them as well. So now I have two glue guns, which I think is a good thing to have. Because sometimes changing the color can be a bit much. You end up wasting um, wax. So, um... Got a glue gun, low temp glue gun, glue gun, which you can use for your wax to make your wax seals. Um, I purchase, I always purchase from them these little sticker thingies, which I put on the back of the wax seal to affix it to whatever you choose to add it onto. And so since we were having like Friday sale, I stocked up on something that I thought I might need. Here is the company info. And you can find them there. So I also was like, I've never purchased wax from them before. And I thought, well, let me buy some wax from them because I was thinking about doing wax seals in the spring planner sesh box. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking but I was not thinking the packages would be this small. So, um, the other places that I've ordered from, the, the sticks are longer, and you actually get more than six. Like, you get 12, usually. So, I love the colors. I got a baby blue and a silver sage. Um, so, really pretty colors. But these sticks are sad. Like, I, I I need, I like to give you at least two, right? If I'm doing it for, um, I don't know, anything. If I'm packaging it up to sell them or, so I'm going to still use them. I'll figure out what I'm going to do with it. But I would probably need, like, four packages to do, um, for planner sesh box because you really don't make a lot from one stick of wax i'm doing a set of two like i probably get like mm. first of all they don't always all come out right so you're gonna have some oopsies i don't know uh it, it would just be very expensive and their wax is not it's kind of expensive also like you get smaller packages and less amount and it costs more um, which I would venture to think is probably a really good quality wax for that. Um, but it's not going to work out for how I plan to use it. So, got that. Artisair. 
Um, then, oh goodness. Okay, so next we have a uh, planner cake. And you can find Planner Kate there at plannerkate.com. Okay, so Planner Kate, I think I have figured out after maybe like four, five years now. Um, I just dropped, I think I missed this in my hand can plan order. This is a freebie. Um, I have figured out that when Planner Kate does her Black Friday sale, um, I don't have to, I dropped everything on the floor, y'all. I don't have to panic. Like, uh, the stuff I want is not the stuff that's going to sell out. Because I'm really not buying kits and things like I used to. So I waited until Monday when she has Cyber Monday and things were 40% off. I didn't even have anything in my cart until Sunday night because um, I really truly wasn't worried about it. So I uh, got everything that I wanted. No problem. Now, you're going to be like, Mia, what in the world? But let me show you what I got. So here are my little freebie sheets. Get the little freebies with every order, which I love them and I use them for different things. So I the little labels, little planner cake girl, the arrows, some checklist boxes, some uh build do stickers, and some more labels. So planner cake. Okay, let me tell you what I got. I probably got like 10 of these, <laughs> but we got some different colors. So this is like a purpley lavender color. This is a gray. Got two of the gray. I've got uh, a green and a light beige brown color. I think. Yeah, this is the same. The color is not exactly the same, but this is the same. So two of that one. I got this one. And there's two of that one. So this is like the week of the glance. I think these were all um Harmony, some, Harmony Neutral, maybe. I'm not sure. They may have been Wildflowers. I don't remember. But um, I like this on that blank page. This on the wrong side of the page. After, before, Sunday, whatever you want to call it. It's just in the wrong place. That page on my A5 Daily Duo. Um, so I like to use this. I usually cover up the habits, but I use the rest of it. So, love that, particularly when I'm planning planner sesh box stuff um, or collab sale stuff. So, I also got this black and white one, and I think I had more of these in my cart, and I took some off because I thought it was a little ridiculous. But, and I don't use it every week. So, this one, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight. Yeah, I think I had 10 and I took two out. So I got eight of the black and white because I feel like black and white goes with everything. I got this little pink one that was probably part of a kit. Um, 27B. Got that. Got this little florally thing, 603. Um, it's like a black and white floral. I got this little Christmassy one, which I think I actually got the whole kit on this Christmassy one. Um, 560. It's like a red with white dots. Um, this is like a floral 557. And this is the lights is the name of this one. I got two of that one. And then this one is 524. This is Remember and Honor. So I think this was a Memorial Day. But it's just like a blue and uh, like a wood grain. But then the red on the checklist there. Black, white, and pink. I mean, this is literally all I ordered. So there's two of that one. This gray. Got two of that one. This one. This little football one I can use during um, Super Bowl weekend. This little red one I could use for Valentine's Day. So this was the kit I got, though, actually. So all of this is kit 505, which is... Um, red love. So I got the 
Weekend of Clients. I got my boxes for my A5 Daily Duo. I got the checklist and appointment labels. This is like the only kit I think I purchased. And there's the headers. And then we're back to our Week at a Glance. This one's a little bit different because it doesn't have the habits, but it has a little notes box here, which I like that better. than I like the to-do list too, though. So I got two of this one. And then these were last call. So they were already, I think, 50% off. And then the 40% on top of that. So I got, um, these were 25. The boxes were 25. And they are Harmony and In Bloom. And um, I like to use these for grocery lists. So I got a couple of those. Um, and then I got the uh, labels as well um, for when I have you know, some sort of appointment. So that was my Planner Kate order. And then these are... This does go with that same kit. This is an extra box and some arrows. So that is uh, what I picked up over at Planner Kate um, for Cyber Monday, 40% off. And then you could use um, I think you could use your, your points as well. I did not, um, but I, I'm very happy with what I got here. And I pretty much, with the 25, the things that I already got that were 25% off last call, I really almost got close to 50% off. So, can't beat that. That's Planner Kate. Okay. Let's see. Next up, let me show you. <laughs> I, I'm going to go through this super quick. So I did an order with doTERRA, which is an essential oil company. And um, I, in November, December, December is the month where um, you can get frankincense for free. So um, I usually place a big order in December for that purpose. So I've got toothpaste, which I love their toothpaste, um, On Guard and Super Mint. Haven't tried the Super Mint yet. And I also got fractionated coconut oil, which I use daily. Correct X, anytime I have a skin issue, this is great for healing it. It's like Neosporin on steroids. And then I got this calming bath oil to try. I didn't realize four ounces seems so small. I, I have a heavy hand when it comes to any bath product. Um, but I'm looking forward to trying this. Don't know what it smells like. Let's smell it. Um, I, I love essential oils for that spa experience. So it is sealed, sealed. Nothing. Yeah, it smells good. Let's see what's in it. Mm. Lavender, orange, rosemary, jojoba, sesame. I can't. It's the print is too small. Anyway, adaptive calming bath oil. I got, uh, this was a freebie, Douglas fir, which I don't think I've ever smelled that either. I read recently that pine is good for skin irritation as well. So this actually smells like a Douglas fir Christmas tree. So I got the Douglas fir. Um, I got a couple of bottles of their leave-in conditioner and, um, this was a freebie ornament. So the Douglas fir and the ornament came together. You can actually put your essential oil on the ornament and um, it just sort of like smells out in the air. Stick that on your tree. You got that whole little Christmassy smell going on. Um, I picked this up to try Metabolic Blend of Soft Gels. This is a dietary supplement called Meta PWR. Um, and it helps to curb hunger, support mindful eating, and um, metabolic health. I don't know about all that. Because as I'm filming this video, I am waiting for Uber Eats to bring me my dinner. Um, also got mouthwash, on guard mouthwash. 
So I use that as well. And then um, I got a couple of bottles of balance. I use balance every day on the bottom of my feet. And then um, the frankincense was the freebie, my favorite oil. And then cedar wood, it's one of the things that I mix up with my leave-in conditioner for my hair. I was running low, so I got that. And then the last thing, let's put these back. Okay, last thing is this Shea Butter Collection of... Um, they're like, uh, what do you call that? Little solves. So every year, doTERRA comes out with like a holiday collection. I've got uh, Blue Tansy, Yarrow, and Neroli, which are supposed to all really be good for your skin. And then Magnolia and Yuzu, neither of which I'm familiar with. This is just unscented shea butter and then helichrysum and rose. Also really good for your skin. So they're just little tins of shea butter with the essential oil. Um, and I think they also have beeswax in them. So um, this makes them a really nice gift as well. So I got that. And um, I think this these would probably really help my, my poor little dry cuticles. Um, so yeah, got that. That's the last item in the doTERRA bunch. Okay. Now I have two more orders from cloth and paper and the first order is the last call items. And this actually came today. So I believe the CEO folders were the freebie that day. So we have those, and then um, I just, I didn't need anything in this little last call section, and I may not even, these things I may not even keep. I did want to have the, the cards, so these are the gratitude note cards, um, and I actually just ordered another set, because I think I'm going to give somebody some for Christmas, um, so I got those. I love my list pads, so if they were in last call and they're going away, that makes me sad. Priority, weekly priorities is one of my favorites, so you have a whole little checklist of your priorities that you can check off. That is my love language, and then you've got graph down here, so I got two, because I think they were like four dollars, and I, I just, I'm going to be sad when they're gone, so stocked up. I love this luxury um, you deserve luxury dashboard. So I got all the sizes. I got personal. I got, I think, CP Petite. Um, pocket, maybe. I think it may be two CP Petite. Personal. HP Mini. Yeah. I didn't get one for my half letter. I might have to go back. Um, <laughs> okay, this a dashboard, I had this in my cart and it they they all disappeared back when they did last call a while ago so i was so happy to see this come back for the black friday so this is one that i love to layer with for putting the month um on top of it so again i did personal hp mini half letter um and pocket i also really love this dashboard um i saw that my life was a vast glowing empty page and i could do anything i wanted with it so i got that in I think pocket and personal because I have it for the others. I got the half letter. There's luxury and simplicity. Oh, and I did get the you deserve luxury in the half letter. So I got two of those. One for my regular half letter and one for my budget. And um, that is what it is. And there's just like the regular thank you journaling card in there. No, no extra journaling cards during Black Friday. So that was my first order. It did, of course, come in the cloth and paper dust bag. Um, my second order which actually came first. I think I placed the first day that Black Friday opened for everybody, which was like the night of Thanksgiving. Um, and dun, 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 dun. there might be an heirloom in there. So um, this was the order where you got the time block stickers. 
think I've shown you all an order with the time lock stickers already, but let me cut these open real quick. These were the special freebie time block stickers that were included for orders. Um, and I had two orders that day because I did order an heirloom. So we've got the books. We've got these squiggly lines, twisted lines, library. Um, and then scribble lines and bien plan affair. All right. So time block stickers. All right, so we've got our CP white box made in Spain. I feel like nobody in my family will appreciate the way I appreciate a handmade leather goods. So I, I need I need to have like a will and trust in place for my planner supplies. I need them to go to good homes, people that love them if anything ever happens to me. Because my mom will take all this stuff to Goodwill or she would just leave it here and let them burn the house down. Um, it does have a little card that, so it's got this that says to have and to keep genuine leather goods made in Spain just for you. I think, I feel like this white is so hard to read on here. Um, and then there is a separate card that has my item number, um, certificate of authenticity, which I'm not going to show on camera. So it, uh, of the Valletta, you're, you're speaking to me. Like if there's one thing I love nearly as much as blue, it is gray. And so I actually am liking Leon as well. So you might see a Leon early. But anyway, today we have Valletta. This is, uh, this will fit half letter. So it, it smells so good, y'all. If you like the smell of leather, it smells so good. Comes with a little board for the back. Um, it's embossed cloth and paper in like a silver color down there. Um, here are some black, like if you want to do black rings, um, if you want to do silver, here's what silver looks like against it. And, um, it's got your pen loop here. I just, I think I have decided I really like the cool gray. This is like a nice suede material. It's so soft. Um, but I love this Valletta gray because it is almost like a bluish gray. And so I was listening to Ashley talk about the difference between this and ash Ash is more warm. This is more cool. And I like a, the cooler gray because I feel like it's more in that blue family. Um, so this is just in, this is a, my old half letter that I keep. Um, I don't throw out my planner stuff. So just to give you an idea, this is not going to fit in here. That, is too big so but here is what um, it looks like and these would be 1.25 um, discs and of course like you know it's not it's not truly in there because I can't slide this particular thing in it's too big the cover that I have on here, but they do give you the cover to use that will fit. And it's just really nice. So I am, I think what I, I, I'm torn right now. I'm torn between, I had shared when I unboxed uh, the budget box, you may have seen that video earlier today, whether or not I wanted to revamp my business budget, which is currently in here, and use that in here now. This would be my business budget. Um, or if I want to move my half letter out of my tried and true <laughs> well-loved contour which I, I ah, man it's so hard and it's like I don't want to and at the same time I want to protect this 
beautiful leather. It's like, I don't want to, I want to take it outside. It might get injured. I'm extra. So I just, I don't know. And I, I don't take my business budget anywhere. So I feel like that would probably be the most ideal thing to put in here. So help me decide down below. Let me know what you think I should use it for. Um, but it's so pretty, y'all. It's so nice. It, it feels so good. It's so well stitched and it's a thick, um, leather. It's a good quality piece of leather. And I, when I tell you like no one in my family, none of my friends, I don't have a lot, I don't have a lot of friends that are like diehard planner people like me. They, they would not appreciate this. And so like, I want someone who loves this stuff as much as me to have it one day. Um, I, I cherish something like this. This is like, this is my happy place. So I just, it's so beautiful. It, the, I don't think you can on camera see how absolutely beautiful it is. Um, but I'm so excited for it. So let me know down below what you think I should use it for. If you, if I should switch over my contour and use it as my everyday half letter, or if you think I should use it for my business budget, would love to get your thoughts. And then of course, I always want to know what's your favorite thing. Um, this is definitely my favorite thing. Um, this Valletta CP folio cover agenda heirloom. Um, I'm also excited about my hand can plan and my planner Kate stickers. And I'm like super excited that I got all those retiring dashboards. So, um, I'm loving all the hauls and there are so much more coming. So next Friday, See you back here again for more Black Friday hauls. Um, like I said before, December is going to be full of stuff. All the stuff is coming in this month. Um, I had a good time shopping, and like I said, I have no regrets. So come back here and see me next week for another episode of Friday Night Lights. Don't forget to comment down below what you think I should use the folio for and your favorite thing and of course if you are new here please consider subscribing if you're returning thank you so much for always continuing to watch don't forget to like this video and i'll see you back here next time bye